Okay, Samyaya. So uh, when you unpack the instrument, you will have the, the instrument. So the instrument is looking like that. Just put on a on a stable place, and uh, it must be horizontal. So it, it could be a good idea to check the horizontality of the of the table before putting the instrument. Then you will have a, a computer. So this is the computer and uh, um, a power supply. And this is the side of the instrument with the different plug. So also you will have some uh, USB cable, uh, some uh, one, one wire to make the, the power supply, uh, a lens that will be used and the software that is in this, in this pocket. So to make the installation, uh, first, first thing you have to do is to uh, link the computer to the to the to the instrument so to do that you have two, two usb cable so you take you take the cable and you install it you just plug on the on the on the instrument so this one for for the first one and the second second wire in the second uh, cable okay. so these two cables are usb cable so USB 2 cable, so you have to link it to the computer. So best thing is to link on the upper part. So you link there, one here, sorry, one here, yes. And the other one here. Okay, this is, yeah, it's not easy. Every time the same thing. Okay, this is the USB cable. Then you have a third USB cable that is already uh, in the instrument. So it's a USB 3 cable. It's very important to put this cable on the down part of the, uh, of the instrument, of the computer. So this is a high speed USB 3 uh, card. It's it's good idea to put nothing else on the second port because the, the cam it's for the camera and the camera needs all the... All the uh, well, all the speed of this card. So this is to link the computer and the, and the instrument. Then you have to link the power supply with the instrument. So this is the power supply and you have a cable to do that. So this cable, it's not possible to, to make a, an error. You have a male and a female. So the female have to go on the instrument. So you took the female, just put on it and then you have to turn to, uh, to uh, link the, the system. To remove, just you have to push, turn, and you can remove. Well, normally, okay? So just plug and turn. Yeah. Okay, this is done. For the other part of the cable, it's a male cable. You put on the power supply, so just you put on it, sorry, with one hand, it's not easy. And then you have to, to, uh, to screw the, the correctly the, the cable. So just screw until it's finished. Sorry, it's not very... Okay, so that's done. Everything is off. This one is also off. So both uh, things are off. So then you can link the power supply to the to the to the network. So you just link the cable, put the cable on this one, and also you can uh, link your computer to the to the to the to the network also. So okay, this is done. Okay, so that's it for the, the installation of the of the wire. Then, uh, when you open this this box, you will find in it uh, this this uh, letter. Sorry, you will find two uh, two uh, USB uh, dongle. So one is for the reinstallation. Uh, I would advise you to make a copy in your labs and to keep it and to to leave this one to the to the customer. But make a copy for you, it's better because sometimes people lose it and if you make, want to make the reinstallation, it's good to have the original one. So, and the other, the other one is the activation dongle. It's not a USB uh, uh, memory, 
be very careful it's you need that to run the system if you don't have that it's not possible to run the system so you, you must advise the client not to lose it because without that it doesn't work so you just open sorry with one hand it's not easy so and you have just to put it on the computer so you you choose one it's not very important uh, if it's correctly installed when it will start you will see when i will start the computer you will see a green light here if the light is flashing that's mean we have a, there is an issue with the installation but most of the times it's not happening okay so that's down keep keep that uh, this one we will use it uh, later i will show you how to to use it so that's it so now I will uh, install the, 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 the screen and the, the keyboard and the mouse, but I have to turn the comp computer, so I will stop the movie to just install the mouse and the, and, the, and the screen. So for the screen you have, for the screen you have a, 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 a cable with, uh, sorry, so for the screen, yes, you have a cable with one part is uh, HDMI and the other one is I don't know the name but is is for this one is for the is to put on the on the screen and this one is on the computer so you put the HDMI on the on the correct uh, plug yeah it's written so just in the right sense so sorry so okay you put the cable there so and then uh, that's it for the for the net for the mouse and the and the, and the keyboard you may use these two one uh, plug okay so I will I will now install the the the, the screen and the and, and start everything so I, I will stop the movie so okay uh, I'm back so I just I've just uh, uh, put the, the screen the keyboard the mouse uh, and I, I link the the, the, com the computer to the screen. I, I did no nothing else. So now you can start the computer. So uh, the power button is there. Okay, you just start it. I hope everything is okay. Okay, the the system is starting. So we can check that the you see that the the green light is is now uh, fixed. That means the the dongle is correctly installed. Okay. So you say no. I don't know what it is, but okay. You just say no. So now let let him uh, install everything. So he will he will install what what he needs. So okay. It install successfully. Now we can start uh, the instrument. So to start the instrument, you have just to power on the power supply. So when you power on the su power supply, you see a blue light that is uh, on. And then you can uh, start the instrument. And for the same thing, you have uh, the, the uh, blue light that is uh, coming. So to check that uh, everything is okay, you, you can opens the, the the instrument so there you have you have the instrument with with everything and we will just launch the software to see if everything is okay so to launch the software you have uh, an icon here named callisto 3d so callisto 3d shortcut you just double click on it okay just double click on it okay so it will have this uh, uh, figure and if you look in the instrument you will uh, normally make a, a homing so the the slide is moving a little bit to find the zero position okay and uh, the camera go to the homing position Okay, now the, the homing is down, we will check the focus uh, on, of the instrument. 
So to, to do that, you uh, click on the icon in the middle, then it's uh, a menu up here and uh, you click on the, on the camera. So by doing that, uh, you see the, the light is poured on into the instrument. So you take a sieve uh, to check the focus. Uh, do not take a sieve too small, it's just to make a checking. So there I take 100 microns. Around no, it's it's 90 microns, but around 100 is is nice. So you put the sieve on the uh, in the instrument on, on the three uh, on the three uh, um, plots. I don't know how you can say that. And you check that the zoom is on the position 4.5, and there is no nothing here, not the the the, the additional uh, lens. So that's it. That's okay. And uh, you see when uh, the you have on the screen the the image of the of the of the sieve. So if it's not sharp enough, you can move a little bit and you can tune the height of the camera by uh, uh, clicking on this button or this one. So when you you do that, never forget to to memorize the the position and you just click on this button to memorize the position. So now the, the instrument is ready to make a measurement uh, uh, for, of, of this sieve. So uh, I, I will make a, a movie to, to show you how to make a measurement. Okay, it's, it's again me. Now uh, I will show you uh, how to make a measurement. So the, the instrument has uh, four different uh, tuning for four different uh, uh, size range. So from uh, 38 micron to 160, uh, the tuning of the instrument is on the position 4.5 without zone. From 180 to 630, the tuning of the instrument is on position 2 without zone. From 710 to 2000, the tuning is on position 0.75 without ring. And from C, from 2240 up to 12500, you have first to add the additional ring. So to put the ring, you just turn the ring, you just screw the ring in the end of the, of the lens, so like that. And you have to move the entire camera. So to do that, you unscrew the two small screws that are there. Just, just unscrew there. And you can climb the camera until the end. So when it's done, you screw back the screw. It's not just by the end, it's enough. It's not necessary to, to do it to too sharp. So this is the fourth tuning of the instrument. Okay. So now I will uh, make a measurements uh, uh, with a sieve of, for example, 90 micron. So I put the to know which what is the the tuning of the instrument. What I can do is I can go uh, on the software. So just there. I choose the, the, the sieve SOP, well, the SOP is there. You see um, there you have the, the menu, uh, so you can go back to the original position or you can have the different uh, option uh, there. But nonetheless, th this is, I select the correct uh, sieve there. So there you have all the sieve that exist. Uh, there is, I, I make an SOP for all the sieves. So there it's the 90 micron and you see for 90 micron the zoom is 4.5 without the, 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 the ring. So I just, I just uh, go to the, to the system, I put back the, the camera to the down position. So with one hand it's not obvious, but okay, sorry. Okay, just lay it down to the hand and uh, you can screw back the, the system. Be sure that there is no zoom, so I remove, I remove the additional lens. Okay, I put it there. And I put the zoom on the 4.5 position. So, that's it. 
when you change the zoom it's a good no it's uh, i advise you to check the focus of the of the instrument so i put the sieve on the on its position uh, in the software uh, i just click again on the on the small camera to check if the focus is good there the focus is all right so i'm ready to make the measurements so to make the measurements it's not so uh, not very complicated you put the the serial uh, sieve number, so I don't know XXX for this case, and uh, the name of the certificate, for example, OCC01. So now we are ready, and you just click on the red dot buttons that is there. So you click. So he, he, he tell you, okay, check that the, the zoom position is 4.5 and there is no additional ring. We've already did. Okay, click OK, and then you say, okay, this is the first time uh, you use an SOP, or if you change the SOP, it will ask you to make a background calibration. So it's important to be sure that there is no sieve inside the instrument before clicking on OK. So uh, I remove the sieve, sorry, I remove the sieve, and I click on OK. So I click on OK. Okay, he tell me that the, the background calibration is done, so I can put back the sieve in the instrument. Okay, now I'm ready. I just click OK and I let the instrument uh, working. Normally, you have to, to close the door before making, but there you will make the, the measurement. So you will pick up uh, randomly some position on the, in the sieve. So there you find a position, a random position. He make a focus and he grab different image. So I let him work and uh, I go back after. Okay, he finish, he finish the measurement. So, so when it's finished, you see this become gray again. So the measurement is done and the, the instrument have stopped. Uh, the light is, is off. So the first thing to do is to remove the, some artifact that could happen. So sorry. So you go uh, to this this menu with with the small uh, figure there, and you click there, okay. And then you have a sub menu to to go back. You click in the center, okay. If you click one more, okay. So I go in this menu and then that menu and this one, and there I have the the image of uh, well I, I can choose uh, the, the number of column or number of line. And, and the zoom if I, I want to zoom in different position. So every time is the same same way. So you select wire weft, and then you say uh, um, you you use descending uh, order. It's just to check if there is no some artifact. So you see there, for example, there is small. So you just click it become green. Okay, it's good. So we check also the wire wrap there is no problem and we check opening rift there you change the the ascending uh, position so you see in that case it's interesting we have we have some i don't know it's a fiber that is inside so i click okay i don't want this one other one seems okay i keep opening wrap and everything is okay when it's done so you have made the four variable wire two wire and two opening you just click on that button to remove the the parameter view done. So that's that's finished for the, the the setting. So you go back in the menu two times, and then you go to the report. So it's on the, the right of the of the wheel, and then you have this uh, this image. You select on the down part the the report you want. So in this case, it's ISO uh, thirty three ten selects and it will uh, make the report so there you have the report of the instrument with the different variable so uh, for every sieve he provides you with the the request of the of the norms and then he compare the measure it did with the with the request every green uh, uh, um, cell uh, is a, a cell that need a check for the for the, the norms. So then you can fill uh, the different uh, uh, element there. So the manufacturer, its filter, 
it depends. So the sieve serial number is already filled. Uh, if you have or not identification plate, uh, certificate, the material of wire, material of frame, and uh, if you made a visual inspection, you can uh, do uh, uh, write what you, you see. When it's done, you just click on the, on the print button and you select, for example, in that case, it's a PDF uh, uh, writer. Okay, we say save and uh, you make the, the report. So the report is done. Okay, I accept. And there you have you have wrote the report of the of the sieve. That's it. You have nothing nothing more to do. Uh, it's uh, when when the measurement is done and you have to do another one. You it's a good idea to close the file. So you select the file there and you close by clicking on that button. Okay. So the file disappeared. It means it's it's closed. Uh, if we go there. On the, on the file manager, you have all the, the measurements that have been done. And if you want to reopen a file, you just, just select the file and you can open the selected file. Uh, that allows you to, to, to make another report or to check the, the measurements. There are some different options. Uh, you, you can have a look on, on the different, uh, different things you can do with the with the software, it's it's I, I let you down. So I close it down, and I, I will make another movie to show you uh, uh, another another size range of, of the sieve. Okay, it's again me. Now we will uh, make a, a measurement of another sieve. So I, I go to the to the SOP uh, uh, windows and. Uh, for example, in that case, I, I would like to measure a sieve of uh, uh, 710 uh, uh, microns. So, okay, I, I, will, I will find the SOP of 710, where it is, it is there. And there we see that the tuning is changed, is 0.75 without a ring. So, okay, uh, what I'm doing is I, I, take, my, I take my sieve, so, I put the sieve uh, in the instrument again. I change the tuning so as I, as we see, it's uh, as we saw. Sorry, it's 0 0.75. So I go to the 0 0.75 position. That's it. And then I will check the focus. Every time you change the the zoom, you have to check the focus. So there you see that it's it's a little bit too too uh, too wide. It's because we have two lights. Uh, if I go back to the SOP, you see that the exposure uh, for the, this sieve is only 1000. So I go back there, I check, I put 1000 here and I accept the, the system. And you know, there you have a correct. Then you, you tune the, the, the height of the camera. Okay, that's good. And don't forget to uh, reset the plate position. So now we are ready. Let, let's say this is the uh, Y, Y, Y. Uh, and it's my second report. And so there I can start the measurements. So just click on start. Okay. So again, he asked me to make a background calibration. If for one reason or, or the other, you forget to remove the sieve, it could happen. It's not a real, a real issue. So for example, let, let's say I, I let the sieve in, I make an error, oh, I forget to remove and I click OK. And I say, OK. And then I realize that I forget to remove the, the, the sieve. It's not a big issue. You just click on stop. It will stop the measurements. So, okay, he stopped the measurements. And to to remove the false uh, uh, background, you have to go to the to the sieve, and there you just edit the SOP and you save it. When you save an SOP, he, he remove the the background uh, calibration he did. So now the system has been reset. I close this these files. And I make another one, let's call him three. Okay, I click start measurements. He asked me, okay, now I know that I don't have to forget to remove my sieve. I remove my sieve. 
I click on OK. OK. OK, it's done. I put back the sieve. And I'm ready to make the measurements. And the measurement is done. So if you want, you want, you can click there to see what the camera is, is seeing. For, uh, I'm, uh, for a small magnification, you don't need to make a, a, a focus position, so it's a it's little bit uh, quicker. But you see, it's, it's, it's very quick. There, you have some information about the number of the, 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 uh, the opening that he found. Okay, the measurement is finished. You see, it's become gray again. So I go to this one, this, this one, and this one. I'm checking for artifacts. So wire heft uh, ascending, yes. Okay, everything seem okay. Warp is okay also. Also opening the. Oh, no, it's it was the opposite. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is uh, descending. Sorry, but it's okay. It's okay. Opening. Yes. But Let's go ascending and the last one ascending is okay. So you can tune and there if you want to have more you can put for example four and then with this button you can you can go to one page to the other and so you have all the all the opening that have been uh, measured. Ah, there, there is 124 page. So okay there we don't have to remove anything so we go back to the report and we just select the report. And so again, it changed the, the file and you have the, the, the report result. That's it.